let's leave Photoshop itself for just a few minutes and we're going to go into Camera Raw. If you don't know, Camera Raw is plugin for Photoshop. After you install Photoshop, if you have Photoshop, you already have Camera Raw in your Photoshop. I could say that easily. And how to get to Camera Raw? It's easier to just start working with your image starting from Camera Raw. We have two types actually more type of files we usually work in Photoshop, but the most common will be JPEG, of course, it's after conversion image, and RAW file. RAW file is not processed, not converted image that you're going straight out of the camera. Sometimes, even if you don't have RAW file, as you can see, I have one over here, I will be working with uh, some more that I have over here, However, even if I'm not going to work with RAW files, I love to start from Camera Raw because it gives us a lot of possibilities of work. For now, as the first one, I'm going to start from the car image I already have because it's given, of course, I made a mistake because I wanted to open this in Photoshop, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to close this once again file, browsing bridge once again, bridge is also in Photoshop. So if you have RAW file and hit this, it's going to automatically open in Camera Raw. If it will be JPEG, hit right and open in Camera Raw. Don't bother about these areas over here, they are overexposed a bit. So this is a lot of information that you could have, it will not be visible though. So how I work, as you can see in the basic panel in Camera Raw, you have a lot of information that are actually about light. So you can sort them out so well without even getting into Photoshop and you can do color correction without even getting into Photoshop. So look at this image and what's wrong. I can see the highlights of this image are too strong. You see this? and so easy to fix this. I'm just pulling this down till that level just a little bit and I fix this. So as you can see, camera in such a case can be even for specific tasks, can be even more flexible and more powerful than Photoshop. Also, I can see the shadows and blacks are absolutely too dark. I don't want this. So I'm going to bring up the shadows. I'm going to bring up the blacks and that's previous and that's after. It looks a bit better. It has lack of contrast, so in such a case, what I'm going to do, I can just bring up some of the contrast and manipulate more to get the result I really, I'm really looking for. Okay, so have just a look before and after. We still have contrast, we sorted out overexposed areas and also we fix the shadows a little bit. So. That was super easy, that looks much better. We can also improve the whites, but it could be very su supple, not too much, because we don't want this ugly overexposed areas to appear, and that before and after. Very simple steps, how you can do this, and you can already see that. Also, I'm going to go into another panel right now. Hue, Saturation, Luminance and Grayscale. Why I'm getting into this? Let's go into Luminance. Luminance is all about light. So we have different colors over here. It works pretty much similar to black and to white adjustment layer in Photoshop. We don't have too many reds. We have some yellows, we have some greens on this image. So I'm going to use this. I could even use a bit more specific image and have a look. So I'm going to start with greens and as you can see how I'm bringing up the greens, have a look at this area over here. Don't, don't, don't look at the sky, we have just a bit of green there as well. And when we bring this up, what you can notice or darken down, you can see that we're changing actually exposure of the green colors. I want to go to basic panel because I notice I want to take down some more highlights. Okay, now will be better. So I bring up some of the greens. 
It looks like there is a lot of oranges and yellows. Let's bring some light into it, to the sky, some of the yellows. So you can see we're not working with colors actually right now because luminance do, does not affect the colors, but picks up the luminance from each color. So when we work with yellow, as you can see, actually we're bringing up some lights into the yellow color. When we work with orange, we bring the lights into orange or take down some lights. So super powerful and I love to work in camera roll. In this case, we can see how with some colder colors, there is not really too many of them. So that would be it before, after. We sorted this out so easily and this effect is actually so much nicer. So I want to open this image right now and maybe we're going to have a look also into another image. So open image. And right now I'm going into browsing bridge once again. And I want to choose something, something different. I'm going to choose this lady right now. Of course, I did this wrong once again because I want to go into camera roll. So he tried opening camera roll. And this image actually is pretty nicely converted. So there won't be that much to do. I could try maybe to bring up some of more light on the hair. So I'm going to try with shadows and blacks. Very small change, as you can see, before, after. I just wanted to bring up a bit more details from the, from the hair. That would be even too much, so not that strong. And let's see what else we can do maybe in luminance. Let's see with the green. I'm going to bring up the green. And what is happening, I'm just bringing up more lights into this specific area. So that's so powerful. And about the trousers, about the jeans, let's try with magentas. I believe we can darken this a little bit. This is not so specific color. However, if I want to darken this, as you can see, I can darken the lips or add more lights to lips. How powerful is that? So I believe maybe not all of you have thought about this, how easy it could be, and how many things you can do using camera roll. Let's open image, and we will be in Photoshop. Remember, you can do this actually with every color. You can duplicate your images, you can experiment with them. With this red car, we would get amazing effects, but I'm going to keep this for the next lesson. So experiment and remember, use Camera Raw. Don't forget that there is a plugin like Camera Raw because you can do really a lot with the lights and shadows in this simple and powerful plugin.